Oh, I knew I was going to do that. I knew as soon as I went to shake it, I was like, you're going to drop the ash. And then it fell. Welcome back to Big Jimmy. You can call me DJ. These glasses are too matchy-matchy. Hold on. This is the king of the leaf, January 2024, and real quickly, shout out to the king of the leaf, this was also in the box, I made a short and I talked about it already, but look at this, this is so beautiful. Thank you king of the leaf, uh, so I named Birthright, this cigar right here, uh, one of my favorite cigars of the year, I either named it 8, 7, it was in the back half, the, the, back, the back 9, um, something like that. But I was sent a little pack from them, this cigar right here. I was sent a little pack for them to try of their cigars. This is by Cigar Dagger, King of the Leaf. I lit one up to smoke and kind of like clean up my garage, do a little yard work, blah, blah, blah. I stopped, stopped dead in my tracks, came back in here and smoked it and enjoyed it and just relaxed on my, with myself because it was so, such a great, beautiful cigar. So I had to, to talk about it. This is a collectible box, they said. It's gorgeous, it has awesome work. It's very high quality just for a box. They put effort into the spot gloss. It's a cool story on the inside. Beautiful cigars. And I didn't put them on the list to like check a box, right? I genuinely was so surprised. I was like, and I didn't, I didn't have time to do an actual review. I will review that cigar this year if I have, hopefully soon. Um, so I was like, I gotta throw them on the list. So I give them the credit where credit is due. It's one of the best Tabanos I smoked last year. Hands down, one of the best Tabanos I smoked last year. But, King of the Leaf. Let's talk about King of the Leaf. This is King of the Leaf for January 2024. You open it up, you get the bag, you get the card. Business card. Yellow business card. Business card has a code on it that I can't show to the camera. Takes you to where you need to go. This is the January month for King of the Leaf 2024. Let's see if they started things out right. All right, first and foremost, we're going to talk about this little guy just because I don't want to talk about this little guy too, too much, but I will talk about this little guy a little bit. This is the punch spring roll. Not to be confused with the punch egg roll. Uh, this is the spring roll. It's a 2023 um, takeout series, or what it actually is, is the Chinese Zodiac series by Punch. It's a Sumatra cigar, I believe. I'm not even going to look it up. I believe it's a little Sumatra cigar. It's absolutely delicious. It's short, it's punchy, it's a fantastic little smoke here. Um, I put it as my number 10 of last year. Fantastic little cigar. I ended up with like, in total, every the, everyone that got sent to me, I think I ended up with a total of like 67 of these little cigars. I have given away so many because they're good. I just don't need 67 of them. Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, uh, broadleaf binder, and Colombian Dominican Republic Mexico and U.S. filler. I moved the light back to this side and now I get the shadow again. I gotta figure out my lighting. I hate it. Um, anyway, um, so next. This one uh, clearly clearly drank some Red Bull. This is the Heaven and Hell Oscuro by Oscar Valderas. It's a Mexican, no, Oscuro Nicaraguan wrapper. Mexican binder and Honduran filler. Interesting little cigar. Um, you know, what do you? Um, next up, because this one's sitting in front of me, and I got this cigar at PCA. It is the Mister. I'm gonna say this wrong. This is the Mister Desflorado. Yes, Mister Desflorado. Des Florado by Sinistro. It is, uh, it's a Connecticut cigar. It's made by, I think, cutting off the top of the flower, regrowing it and using that. I, I don't know if that's, does it say in here? This cigar plays homage to the delicate art of Desflorado. Uh, this intricate process 
In this intricate process, the vibrant pink flower atop of the tobacco plant containing the precious seeds uh, is meticulously plucked, not cut off, my bad. This act redirects vital nutrients into the leaves, uh, ultimately bestowing a richer, darker, and sweeter flavor of tobacco. So this is a Desflorado, Connecticut, African Cameroon binder, Dominican, Colombian, and Nicaraguan filler. Looking forward to trying this cigar again. So I saw on King of the Leafs Instagram story page, they post what the month is, like they show it, so you don't have to be like, what is it all the time, which is cool. This one right here, Charter Oak Maduro, okay? Charter Oak Maduro. On their Instagram, they said Maduro or Habano. And I do not love the Habano. It's not bad, but I do not love the Habano. And Hound Dog has sent me, I think, four of them. So I was like, please don't send me another Habano. Not that it's bad, but I love the Maduro. And I haven't had a chance to review it on the channel. And this right here is a contender for Frugal Friday. Absolutely. freaking lootly It's Connecticut Broadleaf at an affordable price. And it's a banger. It's a brownie of a cigar. It's dope. Uh, let's see. It is U.S. Connecticut Broadleaf Sumatra Binder. That's kind of funny. And the filler is Nicaragua. So as far as binder and filler goes, it's like they went whoop, whoop. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Last and certainly but not least is a cigar that I'm very interested to try. I will definitely review, hopefully, very near future. Because um, it looks really, really cool. It is the N.V. Romulus by Sinestro. This is a limited edition cigar. It is a gorgeous looking cigar. And uh, <clears throat> 10 year aged Corojo Maduro wrapper. Okay? Really, really looking forward to trying this one. The binder is Indonesian Sumatra. The filler is Nicaraguan. Dominican, and Pennsylvania. This is like, on paper, on paper, this is my cigar. On paper, this is my cigar. I hope it lives up to it. Um, really hope it lives up to it. Because, here's why. It's not, it's not just Pennsylvania. It's not just Nicaraguan, okay? Ready? It's Dominican, Piloto, Cubano Lejero. It is Nicaraguan Lejero. It is Pennsylvanian Lejero. This is a Lejero cigar. And if you know anything about the channel and you know what I like, I like them light and creamy and I love Lejero. This is the Lejero Corojo Maduro with Pennsylvania. This, if this is not a banger, the level of disappointment will be so high. <laughs> anyway, this lovely pack right here. Come on up, little guy. Uh, is what you get mm, for January from King of the Leaf. These cigar companies are coming in hot. A lot of them went out 2023 swinging and they're coming in 2024 swinging just as well. January 2024, King of the Leaf. Again, I cannot tell you. Where do... There was no scroll. Y'all giving up on the scroll? This is January King of the Leaf. I cannot tell you what to do, but I can hope you're not too stupid to not be able to figure it out. Anyway, TOS, TOS, TOS. We must comply. If you don't like that we must comply, you can complain that we must comply. But if you want to see your favorite YouTubers and content creators on this platform, you must encourage them. You gotta comply with TOS. It's just the way it is. I want to be in this house, so I'm going to play by the rules of this house. It's as simple as that. I appreciate you all greatly. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think of those cigars. Uh, have you tried a Birthright? Would you like me to review it? I plan on reviewing it soon. It's a good cigar. Anyway, please like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTuber things. And as always, you can call me DJ. Thanks for watching, PJ, and I will see y'all 
in the next video. Peace. And as a reminder, please follow me over on Rumble, TikTok, and Instagram if you have them. Links are in the description down below. Just in case things ever go belly up here on YouTube, we want to make sure the bushel stays together.